This is what's happening now on WDSU News at 4. November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and actually diabetes is the sixth most diagnosed disease in our country. So six is on call this afternoon. We're joined by Pam Butler. She's the manager of Toro's Diabetes Center to learn how we can all reduce our risk of type 2 diabetes. So he explained specifically who is at risk for type 2 diabetes and what kind of symptoms those people should watch out for. Thank you for having me, Randy. Oh, no, thank you for being here. While anyone can develop diabetes, there are factors that do increase someone's risk. One is family history, simply having a family member who also has diabetes. And along with family history, there are four high-risk ethnic groups in the United States. And those are Native Americans, African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and Asian Americans, which also includes Pacific Islanders. And with that said, what can people do to kind of prevent the onset of prediabetes or the development of type 2 diabetes? To prevent diabetes, the news is good. There was landmark research done several years ago called the Diabetes Prevention Program. And the study was done on people that were on that slippery slope at high risk for developing diabetes. And what the study showed was that exercising regularly and losing a modest amount of weight was more significant in reducing their risk than the medication that was part of the study. Wow. All right. Well, some great information. Pam Butler, thank you so much for joining us today. And remember, you can watch more of our on-call segments on WDSU.com.